What is up everybody? Welcome back to No Counters, No Combos. And today, as you can see, it was heavily requested in the comment section below. Uh, we're going to be going over the SS3 Veggie variant. Uh, that was in one of our Battle Chamber videos. Um, we're doing things a little differently here. I don't actually own that deck. That's not my deck. Uh, that's my teammate Kevin's deck. So uh, I'm, I'm using Shenron's Lair. You know, shout out to Shenron's Lair. Um, I'm using their, their template here or their format to kind of just showcase everything and let you guys know um, how the deck was built. And that way, if you guys are interested in this type of variant, you know, you can go ahead and build it yourself. Uh, it's still very viable. Veggies are very, very powerful. Uh, they do put a lot of um, pressure on board and they can maintain board presence very, very well. Um, obviously, it's not as strong as the Shigesh play. Uh, with a yellow leader, but obviously with Cronoa running around, uh, that's not as viable as it once was. Uh, but SS3, you know, untapping three energy at the end of every turn is very, very strong. So shout out to my teammate Kevin, you know, for for putting this together and, and making it, you know, pretty viable. I mean, he's a good veggie player. He's been playing veggie since, like, they came out. So um, let's just get right into it. So we're going to start off with the three Cronoa. So Cronoa is essentially the card that turns off Shugesh. Uh, so you play it for one draw card, uh, but you know you essentially go even, so it's not bad. You know, it just replaces Majin Buu uh, with the added effect of it being uh, able to, you know, pretty much shut down Shugesh. Uh, then we have three flutes. Obviously, you're playing a blue leader, so you're playing flute. There's so many targets in this deck, you know, to flute back to your hand and tr to plus one, and you have access to free blockers, so that's always good. A combo there with the flute and the uh, free blocker. Uh, next, we have three Whis, you know, self-explanatory. It's the Blue Negate. Uh, four of the Boost Attack Piccolo. That's your super combo. Uh, three Full Power Energy. So Full Power Energy is very good this format because there's a lot of decks that are playing the early game aggro with the one drops. So being able to have access to green energy for Full Power Energy is very good because you'll essentially, you know, stop them. Uh, this is a heavier red-blue deck, um, but... There is still some green targets, you know, that's that makes it, you know, viable because the veggies are mostly green. So um, it's good to be able to stop the Trunkses or the Kabas that swing uh, for damage. Uh, then we're going to get into the four Saiyan team or Kaba. Obviously, you know, you have to play this card if you're playing veggies. Uh, look at the top 10 for a Khalifla and put it to play or a Kale and add it to hand. So your four Saiyan Kaba is uh, pretty much going to grab you the. Um, for uh, Super Saiyan Khalifla. When she comes into play, she takes a life, so it's self-awakening, uh, but it's also a 20k body, which is very good. Uh, we all know the Veggie Engine. And then you have Kale, of course. Kale is still a very powerful card. You can play her, uh, blow up battle cards on your opponent's side of the field, especially now. Everybody's playing like free blockers and one-drop blockers and one-drop battle cards. Kale is very powerful in the sense that she can clear boards effectively. Also, she's a 20k body with crit, and if you have five cards in your hand, you get to draw. Then we have Intensifying Power Trunks, the new the new sauce from set four. It's basically a one drop uh, that allows you to take a life and gain crit, so it's very, very powerful. Uh, then we have Dauntless Kale, which is the free blocker of Universe 6. Basically, if you have a Khalifa on board, she comes out for free, so it's not too difficult to get that off. Uh, then we have, which I think is the best card in the deck, we have uh, Sister Attack Kale. <clears throat> so Sister Attack Kale is essentially uh, a two-drop uh, that gains 5k and draws you a card when you attack if there's, any, if there's another Universe 6 on board. So the combo is to go Kaba into Khalifa into Kale, but we'll get into that. But this card is just so good because it's going to draw you a card every turn that you play it, so your opponent's going to have to get rid of it. And... Um, it's just not fun to deal with cards like that because you want to attack your opponent's leader to kind of win the game because that's how you win the game. But at the same time, you know that you can't get around their battle cards because they're just going to keep gaining so much advantage on you. Uh, next, we have four Unbreakable Super Saiyan Goku. This is essentially like a staple right now, uh, especially in SS3 with the access to untap energy at the end of the turn. You can play these defensively as your super combo. Um, sorry about that. And... Um, and then we're going into the four um, Super Saiyan Khalifla. So essentially, you're going to go into Kaba, 
into Khalifa. Then Khalifa looks at the top seven for Universe 6 and puts it in play. So you go Kaba, Khalifa, Kale. That's just the same combo over and over and over. Um, but what brings everything into, you know, what brings everything together is the new Kefla. So the new Kefla is a Union Patara. She's a three red energy, and she can Union Patara with a Kale or a Khalifa on board, or with Kale and Khalifa on board, rather. So you obviously want to Kaba into Khalifa, bring out the Sister Attack Kale, draw, attack with Sister Attack Kale, draw a card, attack with Khalifa, 20k. Then you Union Absorb. Then you pay three red energy and you bring her out. Now, she has the flex, so she can't get Bloodlust or Crusher Ball or anything like that. And when she comes out with Union Absorb, she draws you a card. Then she's dual attack, and her auto is when this, card's, when this card attacks, gain 5k and draw a card. And the 5k lasts till the end of the turn. So she's base 25, she swings, she comes in, draws you a card, so she replaces herself already. Then she swings, draws you a card, gains 5k, so she's 35, so she's 30. Then restands, swings again for 35 and draws you a card. So essentially, she replaces herself on summon, and then she replaces the Kale and the Khalifa that you use for Patara material for each attack that she does. It's insane. Thank God this card doesn't have barrier. Uh, because it can be killed by a removal spell like Banisher Fu or something like that, but it's just so crazy. Like you can see in the video how much advantage Kefla just nets you. It's disgusting. Um, but I do give Kevin credit for building this deck. A lot of people thought Veggies were going to be dead moving into set four because of Kronoa killing Shigesh, but obviously you can see that they're still good. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as you can see, I just got a message popping up from one of my teammates there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, shout out to Kevin for putting this deck together. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this format of video here. Uh, it's something new. It's something I haven't really tried, so I definitely have to refine it. But because I don't own the deck, um, I figured this would be the easiest way for me to do it since, you know, you know, conflicting schedules and stuff like that but thanks for all the support guys we just recently hit 900 subscribers so i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart it means so much you know i started this channel a while back in december uh for just you know selfish reasons just to put content out there that i wanted to see i never thought it would have such a representation online and i would i didn't think that i would have uh, 900 subscribers, you know, only seven or eight months in. So I want to thank you guys. The road to 1K, you know, is definitely strong. The movement here is very, very powerful. So uh, I just want to shout all you guys out. Uh, thank you for the support. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, share this channel. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Let's make some noise out there, guys. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Be there or be squared.